This video will show you important information to safely prepare and store infant formula. Talk to your baby's healthcare provider if your baby was born prematurely, has problems with their immune system, or has a serious illness in case there are different instructions for your baby. The World Health Organization, Health Canada, Dietitians of Canada, and the Canadian Pediatric Society recommend that babies be fed only breast milk for the first six months. Families use formula for a variety of reasons. If you're thinking about using formula to feed your baby, it is important to talk with your health care provider to be sure you have all the facts to make an informed decision. Check out tip sheet number one for information to help with informed decision making. If you have decided to feed formula, then you need the information to feed your baby safely. Check out the other tip sheets for information to feed your baby. Types of formula Cow-based milk formula is advised. There are three types of formula. Ready to feed, liquid concentrate, and powdered. Ready to feed and liquid concentrate formula are sterile and have less risk for bacteria growth compared to powdered formula. Since commercial infant formula is regulated and must meet strict standards, any basic store-bought formula from birth to 12 months can meet your baby's nutrient needs. Other formulas, including follow-up and specialty formulas, are rarely needed. Talk to your baby's health care provider if you are thinking about using one of these products. Any other type of milk, including homemade formula, is not safe and does not meet your baby's needs. Infant formula can be recalled and recall information can be found on the Health Canada website. Vitamin D Formula has vitamin D added, so if you only feed formula, extra vitamin D is not needed. If your baby is receiving breast milk only, or a combination of breast milk and formula, give them a vitamin D supplement of 400 IU every day. If you live in the North, speak with your health care provider about how much vitamin D to offer your baby. Storing formula Store any unopened formula container in a dry location at room temperature. When storing open containers of formula, you can store liquid formula in the refrigerator for up to 48 hours. For powdered formula containers, read and follow the manufacturer's instructions. Don't forget to always use formula before the expiry date. Preparing feeding equipment for infant formula. Start by washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds and clean countertops. Make sure you use glass or BPA-free plastic bottles and nipples that have no cracks, stains, or loose pieces. Wash in hot soapy water and rinse any feeding equipment you'll be using, including bottles, nipples, spoons, and tongs after each use. Make sure there are no cracks, stains, or loose pieces. Next, place the feeding equipment in a pot. Make sure the water fully covers the feeding equipment and boil the water at a rolling boil for two minutes. Then, air dry the feeding equipment on a clean towel. Cover it all with a clean cloth for later use. If you use a microwavable or plug-in sanitizer, read and follow the company's instructions carefully. Water for formula. Use cold municipal tap water or commercial bottled water to prepare formula. Special baby or nursery water is not needed. If you use water other than municipal tap water, speak to your local public health unit. If you use well water, test it for bacteria, chemicals like nitrates, and fluoride level. Do not use carbonated, distilled, mineral, or softened water to mix formula. If you do not have a safe water source, Use ready-to-feed liquid formula. Make any and all water sources used to prepare formula sterilized by bringing it to a rolling boil and boil for two minutes. Do not use an electric kettle since it does not keep the water at a rolling boil for long enough. Sterilize all water used for formula for babies of any age. Cool and store boiled water in a tightly closed sterilized glass container for up to 24 hours at room temperature or for two to three days in the fridge. If you are making powdered formula for later use, the water should be no less than 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit when mixed with the powder. You can use a food thermometer to check the temperature. 
Mixing the powdered formula with this hot water helps to lower the risk of bacteria growth. Another way to make sure the water temperature is no less than 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit is once the water has boiled for two minutes, turn off the burner and let the pot sit for no more than 30 minutes. For healthy babies, sterilized water cooled to room temperature can be used as long as the formula is fed immediately. Preparing formula safely. It's important to follow the instructions carefully when preparing formula since mixing it incorrectly can make your baby sick. This includes washing the top of the can or plastic formula container with hot water and soap using a clean dishcloth. How to prepare ready-to-feed formula for healthy babies. For ready-to-feed formula, pour the amount of formula that you think your baby might drink into the sterilized bottle. Do not add water to the formula. How to prepare concentrate infant formula for healthy babies. For liquid concentrate formula, pour and measure the sterilized water that has been cooled down to room temperature into a sterilized bottle. Then, add an equal amount of formula for one feeding. Use sterilized tongs to pick up the nipple, ring, and cap and put on the bottle. Tighten the ring with your hands. Mix by gently shaking the bottle. How to prepare powdered infant formula for healthy babies. For powdered infant formula, pour and measure the sterilized water that is at least 70 degrees Celsius into the bottle. Next, add the correct number of leveled scoops of powder for one feeding. Do not pack the powder down into the scoop and make sure you only use the scoop provided. Shake the bottle well until there are no lumps. Quickly cool the bottle of powdered formula under cold running water or in a container of cold water. When it is at body temperature or room temperature, feed your baby right away. You can store prepared formula in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours, but do not freeze it. Warming formula. When it's time to offer formula, you do not need to warm it up. It is best to see what your baby prefers. However, if you choose to warm formula, you can place the bottle under warm running water. Another option is to place the bottle in a bowl of warm water. An electric bottle warmer on a low setting is also okay to use. Regardless of the way you choose to warm formula, warm it for no longer than 15 minutes. Shake the bottle a few times during warming. Do not use a microwave as it can cause hot spots and burn your baby's mouth. Before you offer the formula to your baby, check the temperature by placing a small amount on the inside of your wrist. It should feel slightly warm, not hot. Always check the temperature of formula before feeding your baby. Feeding formula. When bottle feeding, always hold your baby and trust your baby to know when and how much to drink. Follow your baby's feeding cues. It's okay if they don't finish the bottle. Here are some of the ways that your baby will tell you when they are hungry. For all types of formulas, throw out formula that your baby doesn't drink after two hours. Once you have offered the formula to your baby, do not place formula back into the fridge. Transporting formula. If you travel, prepare the formula ahead. Only take a bottle with you after it's cooled in a refrigerator and it's cool to the touch. Keep the formula in a cooler bag with a freezer pack until feeding time. Throw out unused formula after 24 hours. For more information about feeding your baby and preparing infant formula, contact your local public health unit, Health Canada, unlockfood.ca, or health care provider. Remember to enjoy your feeding time with your baby.